everybody welcome. It's the final day of Trackmania's Golden Goblet Part 2. Or our especially long part one, whether you think this is day seven or day 14, it's all good. It's all gravy either way. Today we're doing summer two. I didn't see my time on that one. Did it say 15 seconds? <laughs> that would be a little bit on the... All right, it is 15 seconds. How about that? All right, well, again, this is not fantastic for uh, my own personal... Ability to to play well against the handicaps today But it is what it is. We'll, we'll try to get it as perfect as possible and at the very least I mean that was like three seconds back. Well one second, you know, what's the difference at the very least? Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm hacking the system. I haven't even set a 15 minute timer yet Hey Google, could I have a 14 minute 15 second timer, please? Hey Google, could I? <laughs> hey, they got it. They got it. It's going all right. I'm not trying to hack the system. I'm not trying to cheat the the other boys out of uh, out of their medals today. If they if they want them, they already got them. Remember that song by Madonna? If you want it, you already got it. Only got four minutes to save the world. I don't know if I'd call it a classic, but it is a real song that existed. So this one is really that was much better. It's really all about this one little sidewinder section right here. If we can get this... I Like, you know what we have to do. We have to be max speed, we have to be max torque. And we have to grip... We have to grip the corners as well as possible. 15 minutes of this, I'll admit, it's a little... It's a little much. <laughs> but on the bright side, you know... You know how when you want to work in a sushi restaurant in Japan, they make you wash rice for seven years before you can actually start to handle a knife? That's what we're doing right now. If you want to become a, an author metal worthy Trackmania player, you have to start by uh, just taking this one little chicane 75,000 times. And if you can successfully do that without losing your mind, you can graduate to go to the Giant Bomb community and play their custom tracks. Okay, so I'll tell you, I, I can digest this course for you instantaneously. We gotta turn right around there. You wanna maintain maximum torqueness. We need to exit this at full speed. That's non-negotiable. If we don't exit at full speed, we will never have a chance to actually surpass our previous self. We were only a tenth down there. Um, so I think maybe this is an example of break early and then accelerate hard. Then we want an early break point to slow ourselves down. And if that allows us, this is closer than it looks right now. If that allows us to accelerate hard through that section, then we got very little to worry about. So we were actually not, that didn't do very well for us at all, <laughs> quite frankly. Um, rather than break early, oh, accelerate hard, if we could just, um, I mean, I have the line baked into my head. I haven't been able to execute on that line yet, but the line's in there and it exists. I can feel it, like, in, in my in my cerebrum. I know what must be done. We were very, very close on that one. I will say, uh, we're only three minutes in. I have no idea what the author medal's gonna be here, but... What I do know is... I'm gonna try our darndest to get there. This is good. Okay, just hold this. It's close. I think my old self even had like a slight... Oh, never mind. We cut We cut a, a tenth off. All right, so we've at least got a good time here. Got into the, you know, top 100 in BC. We got a 15.15. Again. Without being needlessly dramatic, I have sort of accepted the likelihood of no gold medal today. Because to beat the best time by... Well, let me rephrase. To have to beat Dan and Malf's best time by one and two... Or two and one seconds, respectively, is fairly unlikely on a track like this where I think everybody's going to be roughly hanging out around the same measure, but that's okay. All we can do is, is race our hardest. This is what it feels like maybe sometimes to be in Formula One, you know? You might... This is why Formula One has a driver of the day. 
Just because Lewis Hamilton's driving uh, a Mercedes doesn't mean he was the best driver that day. Nothing against Lewis Hamilton. He may be considered the, the best driver of all time, or at least in the top three. Um, but sometimes you got to give it up for uh, Nicholas Latifi moving up from 17th place to 9th. In a Williams that's almost as bad as my 2015 Ford Focus. You gotta you gotta give credit where credit is due for that. So an author medal would be a nice consolation prize. Oh, this is it's close. I wonder if we just give her. Nope, we're gonna be about a tenth behind. And this is a this is a hard course in, in terms of like making up time. I like that we had a, a pretty nice balance this week. We want to be way further to the right on this first turn. Um, I like that we had a nice balance this week. Hit the curb a little bit. Um, we had some tracks that were memey. We had some tracks that were icy. We had some tracks that were on the long side without a doubt. And then we had, a, you know, some tracks like this that are much on the shorter side. Really just, I mean, this is really a single element of a larger track in my head. Obviously, that's not it. But we're, you know, we got 10 minutes here, roughly. We're just going to experiment a little bit. We're going to see if we can't figure it out. Oh, if we had the, if we didn't have the super slicks on, that's a beautiful turn right there. Come on, just grip it and rip it. Oh, I really don't want to tap the brakes. Sometimes tapping the brakes is going to make you go faster. I'm skeptical of whether that's the case here. Oh, dude, we had a, we had a tighter line. I'm not saying we had the win there, but I'm saying there was a chance. Oh, I screwed up the ramp entry. Still. Why? <laughs> I got shot into outer space. That's good. We, we learned the slingshot method there. That's way too tight to that first corner. The only thing... Nah, nah, there's no way. You might as well save yourself the five seconds of airtime. Okay, okay, so we know what's up. That's not even going to be close. We are going to have some speed coming out of here, but not nearly enough. I definitely think flying is the best way. I don't, I don't think air braking is going to get the job done for you. I wonder, like how much your trajectory in the air changes things. You know what I mean? Like, does is the force applied coming out of our car from the back like a, like a rocket? Or is it like, I don't know, is it just scalar in whatever uh, direction you're pointed in to begin with? Maybe that's the same thing now that I think about it. I don't know. <laughs> what I'm wondering is like, does it matter what the, the pitch and yaw of our car is? So I tried just not to adjust here, hoping that we would translate. Why? I don't understand why we didn't get the boost there. Is there like a, is there a thermal? Is there a jet stream I missed out on? I don't understand. I just don't understand. All right, so grip it. Rip it. And then equip it. It doesn't appear to have equipped it, sir. It doesn't appear to have equipped it. Even though we were faster. I don't know about this one. <laughs> Come on, give me... Where's my thermal? Oh my god. We were, <laughs> we were so close. We left our body on the line for it, too. This is going to be closer than it looks. No, it's not. Because you're going to hit the wall. That it's the, This is the man versus man. You know, you, you ever hear stories or, you, you know, in like 10th grade English class, your teacher will describe the types of conflict. There's, you know, person versus nature. Person versus world. Person versus person. And then there's like person versus self. Tragmania is heavy person versus self energy. That's fair. That's fair. We were we were faster than us. We were faster than us. This is the quest to conquer your previous self. Now that's a freaking line. Now that's a freaking line. 
Come on, where's my where's my thermal, dude? Am I dying? If you come on the right side of the map, you get a little uh, jet stream. If you come on the left side of the map, you're on your friggin' own. This one, we're, we're faster, but I don't think it's good enough. It's a punishing track. 15.15, I would, I would be remiss if that was our best performance. I would feel like we missed an opportunity there. This one, I still think we're going to be slower. I think our old self is a little faster. Only a tenth. Only a tenth faster. I mean, I, I feel like there's so little... ...for us to glean off this, you know what I mean? I'm looking at the speeds and I'm like, oh, I think my, my old self was still faster. My old self had a little bit more high-octane uh, oil coming into that section. So what does that mean? We need to either ease off the throttle less or we need to get back on the throttle faster. Which could be as simple as like, I think if, if for a single iota, the smallest measurable amount of time, we get off the throttle and then pull it back in, faster than our previous line, we might have a chance to set a new PB. But admittedly, like, that would do it, but you can't tap the brakes. As soon as you tap the brakes on that one, you're done, so... And again, we're, we're done. There's, there's no passing me. There's no passing me on that one. I exit that Sidewinder faster than I'm capable of. And it hurts. To know I used to be... To know I used to be better. <laughs> Eight minutes ago, I used to have... I used to have the sauce. Now I just got the noodles. I'm eating a dry plate of noodles with no sauce. There's no slip. That's not even close. The only other thing I could think of is... You could cheat this corner... Slightly more to the right, but even then... You need to be faster than your old self coming into this section if you're behind. Because you don't get to adjust much here. We're close on that. We're close. But not close enough. So I think we just got to dial in. And essentially, I think we have to become Morpheus. I think if we become Morpheus, we have a chance. We need to be able to see the Matrix. Okay, can I get the thermal, please? Can I get the thermal? No, uh, can I run into a cactus instead? Cactus wasn't even on the track. Like, you can see that's the one point we can make up time. If we can slow down less than our PB through the weight transfer there, that's that's where we can do it. But it's it's so much harder than it looks. Oh, that was it. That was it. Don't get don't get panicky, okay? You're gonna hear some Google alarms going off in a second. They're gonna go beep 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 beep. In this business, we don't sweat that, okay? We try this this is potentially the first disappointment since episode three. We don't talk about episode three. Just keep it going. Fifteen seconds means you got a lot of potential time left. I hear, I hear me gaining on me. Where's my thermal? Are you kidding me, dude? What did I put in my Wheaties that morning? Which was this morning. Okay, that screwed up the ramp heavily. Just give me the thermal, though. There's the thermal! And there's your author medal. <laughs> Top 18, British Columbia, 47 seconds left. New time, 14.993. That one's going nowhere. We got 36 seconds left. The redemption. This is honestly some of the proudest I've ever been with a video game performance of mine. Was to get that author medal right there. 21 seconds left. 
It's one complete lap and then a restart. Oh! <laughs> just make sure you get this lap in before the... Why? Okay, I'm just gonna be honest. It's gonna go off. So I'm gonna count, I'm gonna restart once, because I took that time to get it ready. This will count as our final lap, but in all likelihood, we're rolling that 14.993. That's not gonna help. We got our wheels straight, but it's functionally unlikely. Still, at the end of the day, when push came to shove, we ran a solid lap. Oh, that was a turn. Oh! <laughs> and when, when push came to shove, we ran a solid lap that I can be proud of. We picked up yet another author medal. And that's really... I mean, I can't control the... Uh, I can't control the times of the other competitors. I can only control my own time. I know for a fact this one's not going to make it, dude. Case in point. But either way, I'm pleased. Pleased with how things went down. I'm also looking and I'm like, dude, for whatever reason, game seems to be running a lot smoother now. We were getting a little framey for a bit, and I was very confused because I'm running this on, like, I mean, I don't want to call it state-of-the-art hardware, but you know what I mean. By, by consumer standpoints. <laughs> it's it's a good computer, let's put it that way. Hopefully it's looked good the whole time. But anyway, that's another week of Track Mania in the books. I don't know what we'll be running next week. We probably, I don't know, I, w I was going to say we probably won't run a third week, but I can't say that for certain. We may run a third week. Like, to pull the veil back behind the curtain, analytically, the series is doing, like, amazing. And, uh, anecdotally... Which doesn't mean as much necessarily as analytically, but, you know, in some circumstances could be just as valuable. Um, we uh, got a lot of comments. Hey, I normally don't watch all three perspectives of the Golden Goblet, but for Trackmania, it's been so pogged out of my freaking gourd, I got no choice. It's always great to hear, so thank you for that. But I don't know if we're going to run, run a third week right away. Mostly because literally two days ago we decided we were rolling Trackmania again, and I recorded all seven episodes in two days. But I'm pleased. Uh, overall, I thought we had another pretty good week of Track Mania. We're probably, and this is not sandbagging. Because, I don't know, maybe maybe it worked out and I'm underestimating or overestimating Malf and Dan. But, uh, basically, I don't think we're going to get another six gold medals. However, I think that on a, on a personal level of self-actualizing... I can be pleased with the way this week went at week. We or at, at least we got a couple of author medals. In fact, I think we maybe got like four author medals. Not Arthur medals. That's when you clench your fist to your side. And I said, "Hey, what a wonderful kind of day." I was too cool for Arthur when I was a kid. I'm willing to admit. Which means I was not cool at all cuz when other kids in the 3rd grade were like, "Arthur is sick." I'm like, "Oh, Arthur." I've heard of him. One of those children's shows, huh? Sorry, I'm too busy reading uh, Prince Caspian, the eighth novel in the uh, Chronicles of Narnia franchise. I'm not sure if you saw, but it's intended for people who read at an eighth grade level, and uh, <laughs> I'm only in the third grade, and yet here I am. Doing everything I can, holding on to what I have, and reading all Prince Caspian. Alright, I'm gonna give you one more, because like this, we've been caught in like a Sisyphusian sort of dilemma here. It just never ends. Just this one sidewinder over and over. That's decent. That's decent, dude. I don't know if it's gonna do it, but we had we had speed. Sometimes you just don't get the thermal, dude. If you don't get the thermal, there's very little you can do. <laughs> it's close. It's close. Give me the therm. Give me the... Th it didn't give me the therm, dude! Where does the thermal come from? I gotta get the green glow under my car. I gotta get the boom boom system. You can hear real far. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know that song? Fever for the flavor? 
think it's about a car that makes a lady want to have relations with you. Maybe? I don't know. Something like that. Anyway. There's a need for speed hot pursuit too. You wouldn't understand. Tomo, I know I said we were gonna do one more here, but here we are on our, you know, have 20 more one mores. Oh, the grip. The grip. All we need is therm. Just therm. I'm going dead center. Dead center and you have the audacity not to thermal me. Despite my dead centericity in Daniel's words. Maybe the secret is you is you turn your wheels and the wheels give you the thermal. Rigged. Well, on the bright side, oh, if we hadn't glanced it. On the bright side, we appear to have mastered this early section. Probably not literally perfect, but close to literally perfect. Now you have the audacity to therm me. How about the power to therm you? It's decent. Just hug it. Just hug it! Look at that. The, the pitch. Look at the pitch. All we need is to go straight. That was an anti-therm. We, we hit a patch of chop the, uh, choppy air. Dude, I, now that I think about it, check this out, okay? What if we don't go wide on this corner? I'm not saying we got it, but I'm saying we might got it. Check this out, okay? We, we, gotta, we gotta overturn to the right, but this might cut, you know, a few meters off the track for us. Oh, we're gonna have too much speed, I think, when we come in. It, it's, look... At this point, we already got the author medal. We're just fricking around. I think if we hug it absolutely perfectly, this could be our moment. But you do also have to get thermaled no matter what, which is apparently impossible to predict, so... What do you think about it? Just a smooth thermal here? Oh, or you could just send me into the freaking course at Mach 500. Sure, why not? That's not hugging it! <laughs> I still... I really, truly believe that I'm overcorrecting to the left at the start of this. So just go a little left, like this. That was not a good example of what I'm trying to accomplish, to be fair. I think we're better off just, just skirting the corner here. Like this. And then putting the hammer down. I don't think we're going to see this manifest itself here. Let's give this one more college try. I don't know. Let's try the exact opposite. Let's go as far to the left as is possible. Oh, we, we slightly, our wheels just brushed up against it. I think this might be the way. I'm easily convinced. Whatever we've tried most recently is the way. It doesn't matter because you're going to get thermaled right here anyway. Anyway. It was good. 14.993. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you didn't, click the like button. You're going to see a lot more Trackmania. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you then. See ya.